everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a review of a Twisby Mini and it is the Twisby Mini Grape and it is a lovely purple Twisby. Now I have uh, other Twisby Minis um, that I like. I don't really use them that often but this one I'm really enjoying. Let's go look at it up close and switch a shot. Alright, here we have the Twisby up close. And as you can see, it is a Twisby Mini AL, and the color is Grape, which is a purple color. Um, it's interesting that they named it Grape, because I don't think grapes come in this actual color. But again, lovely color um, and lovely little pen. It is a sort of pocket pen. I would say it's on the bigger side of the pocket pens. And on the cap band, we have the Twisby logo basically and then on the other side it says mini um the top of the cap finial is the twisby logo um inset in red now this is not the same as on the eco i have the eco right here it is a much more premium looking logo situation i actually like this um, and i wish they would do something like this on the eco so the parts of this that are colored are the grip section and then the piston mechanism, or at least part of the piston mechanism and the piston knob. Um, so the metal parts that are inside the pen are basically colored. Um, the clip is very usable. I like the Twisby clips. They are fairly tight, um, but not too tight to be able to use. Um, they actually always work really well. Um, this connection right there might seem a little flimsy, but I've never had like a clip break on me. I have had the plastic crack, of course. Um, I say of course, but it shouldn't be an of course thing. But yeah, the clip always works very well. Uncapped, you can see in my hands that it is a fairly small pen, but it is not as small as some other pocket pens in the world. Um, it is still for me, very usable without posting. Now, the cap posts, uh, and it is a threading situation, so you thread the cap onto the back of the pen, and then you have a full-size pen. It's actually quite large uh, when you put it like this, and I tend to use this pen unposted, if I am honest. Um, for me, I don't like going through the motions of having to actually uh, thread it on. Uh, basically, I am lazy and then don't do it. So I use this pen mostly unposted. Uh, a lot of you will have bigger hands and will need that extra length, but I really don't. Now, um, let me grab this Eco to show you a comparison in length. And here you can see that the Eco is definitely quite a lot longer like the whole grip section of the eco um is um longer how do i mm. the whole grip section of the eco extends beyond the grip section of the mini um i'd say both are comfortable to use this one is a little bit heavier so the grape the Tuzi mini ale grape is a little bit heavier and that is because there are metal components to this pen um, but it's not too heavy it's definitely just really nice to use posting it doesn't really make it um, super unbalanced but there is definitely warm weight to the back so it is a little more back heavy uh, but not uncomfortable it is definitely a very usable pen like this now nib they're just a standard Twisby nib. The 580s have bigger nibs than the Ecos, but this is the exact same nib as the Eco. The housing is just different. What I like to do with these pens, the minis, is um, screw in a Faber-Castell nib. I haven't done it for this one. This is a broad, and it's actually really nice broad, um, but it is an option for you to switch in the Faber-Castell nib if you have one. Um, yeah, center Twisby nib. Um, not super super exciting I am going to show you a writing sample today because I always do and um, it's sad that I've moved this pen around so much um, because there's a shimmer ink in here 
Um, but I guess uh, doing this also shows you the facets of this pen. Um, because it is a faceted pen as opposed to the Eco that has a completely rounded barrel. This one has facets and it's really lovely. Now the ink in this pen is one of my favorite inks but it is a little different. So I have a friend who um, sent me a nice box of goodies among which was a very special ink that I will talk about some other time. Um, but also a bottle of cross violet with shimmer in it and um, I, it really excites me. It's just really really fun to use. So this is cross violet with blue shimmer and I'm super super into it. Um, I'll ask uh, her if I can like link something or if you want information on how to get some inks shimmered um, you can ask me and I'll see what I can do for you guys. All right. So, Twisby, there's a dog here, Twisby, Mini, 8L, and then in Grape. And I love how the ink matches this. I'll do a swipe in a second so you guys can see what it actually looks like. Cross, Violet, with Shimmer. Now, I'd say this nib is a true broad. I've had Twisbees that um, were supposedly broad, but this is an actual broad. Broad. Um, and let me do this a little bit. I'm gonna try and show you guys this shimmer, but it's always really hard to make it show up on camera, I feel. As you can see, this ink is super matching um, with this pen. Now, I really wanna show you guys the shimmer in this. Um, but it's really hard to maneuver my notebook in a way that it will catch the shimmer. Um, you just gotta trust me, there's like blue shimmer in there and it's really cool and I love it. Um, I might actually do like a, a dedicated video to this ink combination because it is so cool. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoy it. So this is one of my favorite writers right now because of the broad nib and the ink in there. Um, I would say if you like piston fillers and you want a little more premium feel than the Eco, get a Twisby Mini AL or just the 580. Um, I would say I prefer this one over the 580. The 580 is not a great size for me. I don't know why I don't like writing with it. I feel like it's too long, but it might not even be longer than any other pen that I own. I just don't like the feel of it. Anyway, I bought this pen for 60 bucks at Lemur Inc. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still in stock, so if you're interested, please buy it. Buy it over there, Lemur Inc. is awesome. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.